Um, we've been hovering around this 28,000 mark, 27,500 for a week now. And the more times we touch this 28,800 mark, the more likely we are to break it. Welcome to a special edition of Martin Lucas Investor. I don't normally do crypto, as you know. It's a very small part of my portfolio. In fact, I do believe now, soon, it will be up to 5% of my portfolio. And I'm comfortable with that. Ali Tisro, who lives and breathes the stuff. He's living it 24-7. I call him uh, any time of the day, and it seems even middle of the night in England, he seems to be awake looking at crypto anyway. I'm not sure that's very healthy, but it's very healthy for me. Provides me the information I need. Anyway, we're talking about Bitcoin today, and we're also running a poll and asking you to leave your thoughts and comments below. Over on Twitter, if you look below this video as well, you will actually see we're running a, a, a poll on what is the percentage of your, um, your portfolio with crypto. Let me share on the screen. This is Twitter live right now. This is made through a live video. And uh, you have option one, 0%, 40% uh, so far are voting zero. 1% to 5%, 20% are in that one. 5% to 25%, 0% uh, or 25% plus. So what do we learn from that? We learn from that pretty much so far. We've just 10 votes. We've just posted it. It's kind of all or nothing. And that worries me. And I'm not surprised by that, actually, because crypto still is a very emotional, very aggressive at times. You've seen some of my interviews with BSC enthusiasts. It gets very aggressive, very loud, very quickly. And the only scam messages I get on YouTube, the only scam comments I get on my channel are always crypto related, always Bitcoin, always. I get hundreds a day that I have to delete from comments from scammers and they are always Bitcoin. It's never, I'm trying to sell you a, a share of Apple. It's always buy my crypto. So I'm not surprised by either nothing, I hate it, or no, it's everything and I love it. And that's wrong, of course. A good balanced portfolio should contain a portion. And the 1% to 5%, the 20% crowd, I say are spot on. The 80%, well, you decide which camp you're in. Well, right now, uh, if you go below this video, you will see the link. It is at Martin Investor, M-A-R-T-Y-N, at Martin Investor on Twitter. Take part in that. We're also going to read out some of the comments in a minute. We're going to look at a Bitcoin and discuss, uh, Ali thinks it's about to break out. And then where will it go from there? We also have Ali on the phone as well. He's going to call in and share his thoughts with us as well. So smash the like button, uh, subscribe and ring the bell, leave me your thoughts, and uh, let's welcome straight away into the show. It's an absolute pleasure. Wonderful to have you here, Ali. So uh, Ali is running our crypto challenge for me, and it's a either $1,000 to uh, a $10,000 challenge or $7,000 to a $100,000 challenge. I don't have to concern myself with what crypto to buy, when, why, what, in, out. Ali just says, Martin, today um, I want you to buy three XRP, or today I want you to sell two Bitcoin. Not literally, I don't have two Bitcoin, you know what I mean. And that's what I do. So we're going to go over to Ali now and uh, we're going to bring up our um, our first chart. Uh, I'll put it on the screen right now and Ali can talk us through why he thinks Bitcoin's about to break out, where it goes from there and uh, what we're looking at on this screen. So Ali, fire away. Of course, I think the first chart you have up should be the, the S&P chart. Um, we can see uh, a month ago, two months ago now, we have broken out of the, 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 the great big descending wedge. Um, bullish, we came back, we tested it. And now today, last week, we've been really accelerating our growth up. Um, there's at least another 2% to go up in the S&P. Um, and that gap opens up an opportunity for Bitcoin. Uh, the S&P has pumped today and um, it will be closed tomorrow. And, and people will be, want to be taking that money and putting it in something. And on the, over the weekend, I believe that money will be flowing into Bitcoin. Yeah, so this um, Twitter comment is, uh, is what's happening right now. So the US government had um, 41,500 Bitcoin um, that they uh, seized in relation to Silk Road. Um, 
they they are now they've announced that they're going to be selling this bitcoin um into the open market uh with four batches i think recently they've done a quarter of it um it's causing some sell pressure um which is which might be stopping bitcoin from breaking this key level and if we can move on to the bitcoin chart above Yes, and this is our main chart. This is Bitcoin on the daily. Um, we've been hovering around this 28,000 mark, 27,500 for a week now. And the more times we touch this 28,800 mark, the more likely we are to break it. The reason I'm saying that there's going to be an explosive breakout is because this 28,800 mark, the next level of resistance is 32,000. And if we break this point, I'm, expe I'm, I'm expecting a an explosive move straight up to 30,000, 31,000, 32,000. And seeing how bullish the S&P S, um, is today, we can either see this breakout today, tomorrow, or the day after. Um, I'm expecting it to have a 10% pop in price. Um, and from this level, we will see how it reacts. This 30K level... It's very important to see where Bitcoin goes in the future in the next three to six months. We could either have a massive rejection and fall all the way back down to 20,000, 15,000 maybe, or we could see the opposite and see us regain this 30K, 28,800 level as support and move further, high, uh, move further up to the 40,000 mark. We'll be um, looking at it very closely, but for now, what we see is an expl uh, is is a move as a breakout um to to the to the upwards direction but what is key is we need to see a daily candle close above this so we need by 12 o'clock tonight we want to see bitcoin above 28800 to then have that follow up move if we do not break this move uh, this level in the next week then it, the the argument becomes weaker and weaker that we are going to move past this point and then start looking um, more bearish. So um, that, that is key. Um, there's a lot of charts in Discord that I, I'll be sharing, especially to my premium members. Um, there's a lot of trade setups right now. We have an XRP trade. If we can move up um, to the first chart um, I posted today. So yes, this is the XRP trade, um, which is still active. This was posted for premium members in the Discord. Um, we caught it. To be honest, we've been buying this for a while now at the 35 cent mark and the 40 cent mark for the crypto challenge. I'm, I'm happy to say that now um, because you've missed the buys basically now. Um, but uh, for a separate in the charts channel of my Discord, we posted the trade setup and it's been working very nicely. Depending on what leverage you took, you could be up 100%, you can be up 50%. Um, and just spot you're at least up 30 percent so this has been a, a great trade and we're hoping to see something like this with bitcoin depending on if we break out of the level um if you want trade setups like this if you want to join the discord if anyone's watching live now and wants to be part of the discord you've basically got three hours to join and lock in the price for nine pound 99 um anyone watching later unfortunately the price has increased now to 14 pound 99 if you're a member of um, the Martin Lucas Investor Channel, you will be able to get a 10% discount. The new code will be going up on Martin's Discord, so you can join through there and at least get 10% um, off. Um, apart from that, the ch uh, there's other charts. We're, we're bullish on gold. We're bullish on silver. There's there's many other uh, benefits to joining the Discord. Feel free to join. Not obligation. You can join for a month. Leave if you don't like it. Um, especially if you want to join tonight, join for a month. Uh, so if you do like it, you can lock in the £9.99 um, price. But apart from that, I thought I'd come on and, and share my views about um, Bitcoin and XRP. Thank you very much, Ali. Let's discuss this a moment. Uh, this is our Twitter poll yeah. that we are running right now. And all the links that uh, Ali just talked about with the uh, the crypto challenge that Ali's running, his Discord, my Discord, the, the discount codes, all of those things, uh, the Twitter feed, the, everything you need to know are below this video. We're making this video in a live show and uh, you can get all those links below. If you're watching live right now, of course, uh, then you can see all the links uh, as we're doing them in the chat uh, on YouTube. So, Ali, what do you think about this? So far, we had 14 votes on um, 
on uh, Twitter, and I hope this will continue throughout the evening once this video goes out. As you can see, you've got the majority of either all in or all out. That's very much the way crypto is, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, for the people that are all out, I don't think it's wise. And the people that are all in, I also don't think it's wise. Um, I, the thing with crypto is it, it definitely, well, nothing's financial advice. I don't know anything. I'm not an expert in anything, but I'm, in, in general investing terms, diversification is key. So um, with diversification, you want to have um, some of your assets um, invested in, in it. Even if you don't believe in crypto, you want at least one to five percent of your assets invested in crypto so that you don't miss out on something like this. You you want to be diversified. You don't want to be all in stocks. Absolutely. You want to have some gold. You want to have some silver. You want to have some crypto Absolutely. as well. It's, uh, it's well, we can yes. we can see today. We can see today what happened to my portfolio. It's hardly been a ripple on the pond, and I've basically got wiped out of Virgin Orbit but my portfolio is still strong. I'm not in margin. I haven't borrowed any money, so I'm safe there. And my portfolio, in fact, is up today despite losing all of the investment I put in. Uh, well, I say all of it. I rescued uh, 400 bucks out of a couple of grand, so I'm down two grand. And my portfolio hardly noticed it. It's like a ripple on the pond. That's why it doesn't matter how bullish you are on anything, whether it's Binky Bonk Coin or or I don't know, the S&P 500 from one end of the scale to the other. At the end of the day, you need a balanced portfolio. And I and I am in the camp and I believe that 5% uh, of crypto makes sense to me. So that way, even if, if I had 100 grand and it was five grand uh, and it went to zero, it wouldn't affect my portfolio. But if crypto does explode and if bitcoin does go to a million dollars or whatever you know arbitrary number we put to it then at least i am in uh and that five percent will do a lot for me and remember and i think it's very important to say especially to to new young investors who've never done this before you don't have to sell all and buy all you can sell part of you can trim off the top and um and have and have discipline. And, and Ali, what do you think about this structure as well? I have got my trading crypto, which we are doing with you, which is intended to be bought and sold at the right time. That's what I'm doing with you on Coinbase. But I also have in my uh, ledger, I have my um, Bitcoin, which just sits there. Now, when I say it just sits there, I don't mean I just sit there and buy it at any price. I only buy it when it goes to lows, all time lows. For example, uh, my my position on my uh, my ledger is 15,000. I have about $1,000 worth of Bitcoin now at the 15 thousand dollar level and I have buy orders at 15 and 10 and some silly ridiculously low prices so if it does go down there then I can take advantage of it um Ali what do you what do you uh think of that um that structure that's the that's the optimal um strategy um having a portfolio where uh, you you buy and sell crypto um, on a, on a monthly basis. For example, the Coinbase portfolio we have, where we buy altcoins, um, and then having a having a secure uh, ledger where your Bitcoin and your Ethereum and your blue chips, as you call them, you buy them at all time lows. You buy and hold for years. Um, most of the people in crypto have that. Most of the people on my Discord also have their own moon bags of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, maybe in that ledger where they're, they're not trading, they're holding until, until a 500, uh, until like a 5X or a 10X in price, holding for the long term. I've got that personally. Um, and then you have your trading crypto portfolio, for example, what we have for our Coinbase, can I, uh, which is also a long term portfolio, but we but we trade in and out of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I just explain for somebody if anyone doesn't know what a moon bag is, that term, uh, a moon bag is an asset, whether 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 it be crypto or 
the S and P five hundred, if you like. It's just something mm. that you keep, an asset that you keep that you've bought at a, at a price, hopefully an all time low, and you leave it there. You may have trimmed off the top. You may be very bullish. For for example, I've done this. I'm very bullish on Apple. What a great company Apple is. I've trimmed off the top, but I've kept some, and that for me is um, a position I'm going to hold now, and that's. If you, if you like a moon bag, it's not quite the same, of course, with an asset like with like um, Apple as it, as it is with a with a high risk crypto. But you just leave it there. You haven't got to sell all of it. But you know, if you only own if you only own a hundred dollars of Bitcoin, for example, and in a hundred, I don't know, 20, 30 years, Bitcoin does go to 5 million, then you've got a really decent profit, even with a small amount. And you just put that away. That's what a moon bag is. And it's a, it's, it's a good investment. It's like buying, it's like a lottery ticket, but I would say uh, a lot better, a lot better outcome because most people would agree you're very unlikely to ever get a return on a lottery ticket. However, you are likely to see a good return in five, ten years on uh, a blue chip, uh, blue chip crypto, for example, Bitcoin or, or or Ethereum or what have you. Ali, yes, completely agree. And 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 the great thing about um, something like that, I'll keep it short because the. Uh, closing bells coming as this has been filmed in a live show but um, the great thing about this is also the portfolio rebalancing opportunity so you with crypto especially because you get gains so quickly you can then rebalance so if you want to keep that five percent mark you can just keep trimming off the top trimming off the top putting into other into other um, assets even the stock market or into other crypto uh, into other crypto assets so that that rebalancing idea comes back to um, why you want to be diversified especially in crypto it's, it also with cryptocurrency um, it, it's an inflation hedge there's so much technology technological in, uh, innovation going on the, the growth potential is great um, and and alongside this um, rebalancing idea, it really comes to play in crypto. And we can talk about that in a different video about the whole rebalancing idea of crypto. But, um, but thank you again for having me on the show. I don't want to miss the closing bell. No, thank you very much. Ali, do appreciate uh, your uh, thoughts. Just stick with me a second as we do have just a couple more seconds. If I can just get a quick reaction, let's have a quick reaction yeah. to this. This is our poll that we've been running uh, on Twitter and we encourage everyone to take part in this. Uh, we've already got a few here. If you know of any of these uh, cryptos, what do you have a look at? Uh, what do you think? Um, ITCUSD, uh, someone has got... Uh, has said that's their favorite. No crypto yet from Stephen. Um, let's see, how, see how, what else we've got here. Only have a small amount of money in crypto and shares. Favorite one is uh, Coinbase, which I changed to Quant. Uh, there's a uh, there's one there. Crypto is currently better for your for your money than the bank, says Bootsy. Mike says out of crypto at the moment, but a hundred percent and CRO. You've and you've missed Paul B says there. I think we've got one more. What do you think of those? assets there um ali yeah quant quant is great um wouldn't recommend buying it now just because of uh, the inflated price but that's great um technology i've seen in quant uh cro also um a great a great coin if you like exchange tokens um i, I would allocate a small amount of the portfolio to that but um i'm not the biggest fan but um i understand why some people are um but yeah, uh, the first one I haven't heard of, unfortunately. Okay. So I can't Ali, comment on we're just that. out of time. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. Speak to you next time. Thank you ever so much. That's Ali Tizro. And of course, all the information for Ali's uh, uh, service and the Crypto Challenge are below this video. Thank you very much for taking part in the poll. We hope you continue to do so. If you want to go below uh, this video, you will find the information for uh, the, the, the Twitter poll. It's at Martin Investor at Martin Investor. I'm a verified account, so you know you're talking to me. If I've got a blue tick, you are on the right one. At Martin Investor. Go and leave your thoughts. Until next time, thank you to our guest, Ali Tisro. Take care of yourselves and each other.